Hello everybody, we're getting ready to do 6.1 for SAT uh, Math Level 1 prep, uh, reviewing geometry. This is my contact information here for tutoring, tests, worksheets, PowerPoint, video, solution PowerPoints, you name it. Email me there. 6.1, reviewing basic geometry facts. We have 88 points on the skill sheet at the end of part two of the lecture. And then your notebook guide for part one would be 42 points of notes on your notebook guide. <clears throat> Overview here, the lesson summarizes some important relationships from the study of geometry. You already know angles and lines. When two lines intersect, vertical angles, opposite angles have the same measure. Vertical angles, here's an example here of vertical angles. Vertical angles are equal in measure. The sum of the measures of the angles about a point is 360 degrees. Parallel lines, pairs of angles formed by parallel lines, you have the same measure or their measures add up to 180. When two parallel lines are cut by another line, call it transversal. This is your transversal. Every pair of angles formed are either congruent. These are congruent. These are congruent because they're vertical. Or are supplementary. And these are supplementary to you. These two are subs. These two are subs. These two are subs. These two are subs. Or SUPS. Alternate interior angles 3 and 5 are equal. Alternate interior angles 3, 5, 4, and 6 are corresponding pairs of angles 1, 2, and 3, 7, and 2. 1, 2, 3, 7, and 2. 1 and 2, 3 and 7, so 1 and 2. 3 and 7, 2 and 5, 2 and 5, as well as 4 and 8 are corresponding angles. Triangles and polygons. Some of angles of a triangle, so A, B, A plus B plus C equals 180, and then for D here, D equals B plus C. B plus C would equal D. The sum of the measures of the three angles is 180 degrees. The measure of an exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent interior angles of the triangle. Sum of interior angles of a polygon sum equals N minus 2 times 180 sum of exterior angles of a polygon equal 360 degrees. So if in this polygon here, and in this polygon here, the sum of the interiors would be n, n minus 2 times 180. We have five angles here. So 5 minus 2 would be 3 times 180. And that would equal your interior angles here. And then over here, some of the exteriors of a of a polygon, this angle, this angle, this angle, and that angle would equal 360. Measure of angle 1 plus angle 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, n minus 2, 5 minus 2 times 180 would equal 540, then over it would equal 360. The sum of the measures of the interior angles is this. The sum of the measures of the so the four angles of a quadrilateral will be this, 360. The sum of the exterior angles, one angle each vertex, will be 360. Isosceles, equilateral, and right triangles. If two sides of a triangle have the same length, then the angles that face these sides have the same measures. If all three sides of a triangle have the same length, then all three angles of the triangle have the same measure. So isosceles triangle, equilateral, and the right triangle. 
here is an isosceles here where you have a perpendicular that bisects this vertex here, these angles are equal, these sides are equal, these, side, these angles here are congruent. Altitude to base bisects the base and the vertex angle here, bisects the base. And then here an equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle is also equal angular here, all 60s. And then a right triangle, common side lengths for a Pythagorean triple would be 3, 4, and 5, 5, 12, and 13, and 8, 15, and 7. So find a perimeter of the trapezoid here. First draw BC and AD. First draw BC parallel to AD, thereby forming a rectangle here, so we have we divvy up this uh, trapezoid like this. So EC here is parallel to AD, thereby forming a, a rectangle, which means that BC equals AD equals 12, and EA equals CD equals 4. So this is equal to this, this is equal to that. The lengths and sides of the right triangle, BEC, BEC. Form of 5, 12, 13 Pythagorean triple would be E equals 5. B E would equal 5. Hence the perimeter of the trapezoid is 12, 19, 13 plus 4 would equal 38. So here are your measures here of your side by using Pythagorean theorem. Special right triangles relationships. 45, 45 right, 36 and right, here's your 45, 45, x, x, and then your hypotenuse would be x times square root of 2. Hypotenuse is uh, square root of 2, square root of 2 times the leg here, and then your 36 to 90, leg facing the 30 degree, this would be, is one half the hypotenuse here, and the hypotenuse would be twice that. And then this would be x times square root of 3 here. Here are some examples here of right triangles. x equals 1 half 8 equals 4. So x would equal 1 half of 8 would equal 4. And then y would equal 4 times square root of 3. x is equal 2 times 5 equals 10 y would equal 5 times square root of 3 here. And then on this one up here, x equals 7. x would equal 7, 7 times square root of 3. So what would that equal? y would equal 2 times 7, which would equal 14. So there are some common ratios, similar triangles. Triangles are similar. Lengths of the pairs of corresponding size have the same ratio. So ax, a over x, equals b over y equals c over z in this case here. here. These two triangles are similar by showing that they have equal ratios for corresponding sides. So <clears throat> A over x, which would be x would be opposite of this angle, and A is opposite of this angle here. B over y, B would be opposite of the vertex, and y is opposite of the vertex. And then C, which is opposite of this angle here, and then Z would be opposite of this angle here. So these ratios would all be equal to each other. So in the accompanying figure, AB, line AB is parallel to line CD. So this line here is parallel to CD. If AB equals 40, CD equals 16, and BC equals 49, what is the length of BE? So what would be this length here, BE? Angles 1 and 2 as well as 3 and 4 are formed by parallel lines. So we have this ulterior, uh, alternate interior angle situation and look congruent. So purposes, you can assume that they are congruent. Angle 1 equals angle 2, angle 1 equals angle 2. 
and three is uh, congruent. Angle three is congruent to angle four. Hence, uh, triangle ABE is similar to triangle DCE. ABE is congruent to DCE. If X represents the length of line B, then you would have that situation. So inequalities in a triangle and unequal sides imply unequal angles. So larger angle faces the longer side. So this angle here would be larger than say C. B is greater than C. A would also be greater than C. If two sides of a triangle have different lengths, then the angles opposite these sides have different measures with a larger angle facing the longer side. So the side length restrictions in triangles, C is less than A plus B, so C would be less than the addition of A plus B, and C would be greater than B minus A. These are relationships here for its side length restrictions. In a triangle, the length of each side must be less than the sum of the lengths of the other. Two sides are greater than their difference. If 3 and 8 and X represent lengths of the sides of a triangle, how many integer values for X are possible? So the value of X must be greater than 8 minus 3 equals 5, 8 plus 3 equals 11. Since X is greater than 5 and X is less than 11, X must be between 5 and 11. Because it is given that X is an integer, X can be equal to 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or 11. Hence, there are five possible values for X. If the lengths of two sides of an isosceles triangle are 3 and 7, 3 and 7, what is the perimeter of the triangle? Well, we know it's isosceles, right? The length of the third side of this isosceles triangle could be 3 or 7. If it were 3, then the third side, 7, will be greater than the sum of its lengths of the other two sides, which is not possible. Hence, the length of the third side would be 7. So the perimeter of the triangle 7 plus 7 plus 3 equals 17. And that is part 1 of 6.1. If you want the PowerPoint for yourself to go back through it again, or the video, contact me here. If you want the worksheets and online tutoring, email me here as well. Thank you.